Alright, so a new global campaign has arrived, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at everything that it has to offer. Now, before we get into the new stuff, I wanted to make a correction to something that I said earlier today uh, in my data download video. Basically, I thought that the uh, Bandai ID linking thing was only for backing up your account, like Facebook or Google, and that uh, people shouldn't really worry about it, right? But as it turns out, you can't use it to transfer your account between devices and people should worry about it because there's a mission where if you link your Banda ID to your account, then you'll get 15 free Dragonstones, which is pretty significant. So yeah, everybody should definitely go ahead and do that, get your free stones, and uh, that's the correction I wanted to make. So with that said, let's check out the new campaign, which is called all Out Battle Chaotic Future Worldwide Campaign, or sorry, World Campaign, Part 2. Events including new Extreme Z battles, a new Extreme Z area, and the support for Extreme Z Awakening. Zeni Galore Campaign will be available. A new stage will also be added to Super Battle Road. And in addition, don't miss out on the login bonus and missions that allow you to get Dragonstones and items for raising characters. Join the events and strengthen your characters. Okay, so. First things first, we have the special missions for part two, pretty standard. We also have a new Rising Dragon Carnival banner, which will feature the, hold on. Okay, so obviously it features the new LR Super Saiyan Future Gohan and Future Trunks, but is it also going to feature the LR Android trio, like the JP one? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe for our banner, it's still gonna be double rates, obviously, but it might only feature one LR, because on JP, it was like a special... Was it the Christmas banner? It might have been the Christmas banner, and I remember they had two featured LRs. It was this LR and also the LR Android Trio, which is not very good anymore, but it's still nice to have two featured LRs as opposed to one, so... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if that's also happening for the global banner, or if we're only getting the one featured LR. We'll have to see. But anyways, that's coming in roughly 6 hours from now or so. We also have some uh, Rising Dragon Carnival packs in the pack shop. I always want to say Pilastro, but obviously that doesn't exist anymore. And uh, there's going to be an Androids Category Summon which obviously you should be skipping. There are some stone sales, uh, one 12 stone pack, two 32 stone packs, and also four 91 stone packs. Nothing too crazy, very standard sale. We have, of course, a uh, Elder Kai banner, and the new Extreme Z battle event for the Fizz Super Saiyan Future Gohan, who is very, very good. And uh, from there, we have a story update for the Fight Against the Spear event, where I believe we can acquire a new Feature Trunks um, support memory. And there's going to be a new stage of Super Battle Road, stage 52 for Joint Forces. There's going to be uh, the reopening of the Feature Trunks um, Extreme Z Area event, a couple of story events coming back. Um, the Future Gohan uh, Dokkan event will be available every single day. And this is Power Surge Dokkan Festival. Okay, so this is interesting. I saw the Power Surge banner, or sorry, the Power Surge ticket in the data download, and I was like, I'm not too sure what that, what that's for, but seeing this now, I'm guessing there's gonna be like a special banner? It says Dokkan Festival, right? So a special banner where they're featuring, it looks like the fifth anniversary LRs, the Vegito and the Gogeta, and I'm guessing maybe some other Dokkan Fest LRs and maybe TURs. Like, I don't I don't really know what this is. This is like completely out of the blue. Unless I missed something. You know, like maybe we had some signs or like I missed a news release or something, but yeah, what is this for? <laughs> is it for Valentine's Day? But Valentine's Day will be over by the 18th. So yeah, I'm not too sure what this is, but there will be tickets available as well. Oh, hold on. Beginner's Power Surge Pack up for sale. Okay, okay, okay. So the ticket would be from this pack. It's basically, oh, it's the revamped beginner's pack. They, they mentioned this in the news. They mentioned this, my bad. Okay, so 
there will be a new beginners pack coming out the 18th there's gonna be a ticket and we don't know the exact pool i believe of uh, units we can buy but at the very least we can tell right now there's gonna be the fifth anniversary lrs maybe the fourth anniversary lrs uh and hopefully some other dokkan fest lrs like i don't know the gobros the blue boys um yeah you uh, not you i goku well i mean the sixth anniversary would be good but i feel like if the you know sixth anniversary lrs were on there then they would have included them on the picture instead of the fifth anniversary lrs so yeah we'll see exactly what the pool looks like but this is pretty interesting and if i remember correctly the old beginners pack was very good value so this one's probably going to be even better value so uh, yeah on the 18th that's going to be dropping excited to see exactly what that looks like but from there we have the uh, support for extreme z awakening standing galore campaign where they'll give us a bunch of hercule statues for extreme z awakening units and uh, essentially getting a refund on the sandy we're spending because as you guys know extreme z awakenings are very very expensive and we're getting like seven or eight extreme z awakenings for the dragon ball fusions units for part two so this will definitely help with that and then we have the extreme z battle for the uh five remaining summonable fusions units weiris selza uliza xiaoman and janembu we also have the extreme z area for the free to play dragon ball fusions units uh yamhan tekka and uh Pinich. And then there's going to be a new Extreme Z, or sorry, uh, Explosive Chain Battle event where we're facing uh, future Android 17 and 18. And a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History. I forgot the theme for this stage, I gotta be honest. Uh, I believe it's Dragon Ball Fusions maybe, but I could be making that up. So I gotta go take a look at that. But yeah, new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History, more stones, that's always nice. And uh, this says more characters can be Dokkan Awaken. That would be for the uh, you know ones getting Extreme Z Awakenings. So essentially, we're getting the Fusions, Extreme Z Awakenings, and Dokkan Awakenings at the exact same time. Whereas on JP, they happen about a week and a half apart, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, these two story events coming back, we got... Uh, oh, that's it. Okay, so nothing else really um, that's too interesting, but we got a bunch of new stuff, actually. Explosive Chain Battle boss... Um, new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History, new Super Battle Road stage, a ton of Fusions Extreme Z Awakenings, uh, this new Beginners Pack, which is going to be interesting, and also uh, the uh, Extreme Z Awakening for Future Gohan, and the new LR Future Gohan and Trunks uh, Double Rates Banner. So there you have it guys, that is part 2 of the Chaotic Future World Campaign on Global. And before we go, let's take a quick look at these missions. I believe it's going to be pretty standard, but just in case, uh, let's see. Yeah, up to 13 Dragon Stones can be obtained during the event period if you complete all the missions. And on top of that, of course, some Hercule statues and training items. So nothing too special there, but I'll just give you guys a quick look there. Um, standard stuff, you know, some orbs, some Kais, some medals, so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the new campaign, guys. Um, after this, I believe we'll be getting the Trunks, right? The Dokkan Fest Trunks. And I know a lot of people are planning to skip him because we kind of know what's, you know, coming after. Like, the dual Dokkan Fest with Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Obviously, the anniversary. Um, but for now, I'm really focused on this new LR, which I will definitely be summoning for it because... They look freaking awesome, and they're quite good. I'm not going to say they're, like, super, super broken. I mean, the, the the future Gohan is pretty busted, but before they exchange, they're, like, a really good unit, but not too crazy for today's standards. Uh, nonetheless, though, their animations are insane. Some of my favorite animations, I keep saying this, in the game, so I got to give it a shot. If you guys want to know whether or not they're worth something for, I did make a password poll video a few days ago, so feel free to go check that out. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next in the summoning video. Or actually, I might be doing a live reaction to the 7th Anniversary Part 2 uh, reveal, so I might see you there. But if not, then I'll definitely see you guys in the summoning video. 
So uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.